bloodbath beyond imagination. Again, chilling words from the local prosecutor after a gunman killed three, injured two others. This is a downtown Cincinnati skyscraper. Authorities identify the shooter as Omar Enrique Santa Perez. Cops releasing incredible footage of how this all went down. They released that a short time ago. What we're going to show in the next slide is video footage from the lobby of the Fifth Third Center. This has been edited as the actual footage is extremely graphic, but I did want to be able to show the activity uh, of what the gunman was doing. You will be able to see some of the actions of our officers and even see some of the heroic actions of the security officers that were uh, stationed in the lobby of the Fifth Third Center. Security officer helping individuals get to safety. Gunman firing shots at anyone he sees. The top of the screen you can see officers approaching. They engage in gunfire. You'll see the suspect struck by gunfire by our officer. This slide depicts the approach our officers took. The four officers that engaged the suspect initially approached from the Walnut Street side. They proceeded through the breezeway and down to in front of the Fifth Third Center past the Potbelly Restaurant and to the front of the Fifth Third Center. The next slide you're gonna see is the body cam footage of one of the officer, one of the officers as he approached uh, the Fifth Third Center. He engages the, the gunman as he enters the front door, he's down. A second clip from one of the approaching officers as well. You'll see her body cam footage. Back. shooter, uh, Kayla Hartson's with us, by the way, uh, is on the story, doing a great job with us. It'd be, it'd be incredible, isn't it, to see the shooter nonchalantly, as the officer said, shooting anybody he sees, and then the courageous actions of the officers. Real quick, response time on that. It was quick, wasn't it? The incident in its entirety, four minutes and 28 seconds. From the moment that gunman opened fire in the middle of a busy skyscraper on a Thursday morning as people were heading to work, until the time that officers were able to take him out. And the police chief saying they're unsure which one of their officers was responsible for delivering that fatal shot to mm. the gunman. But you see, they went in unafraid, their actions heroic, yeah. as the mayor said. Courageous there. All right, so I know it's early, um, but is there any hint of motive at this point why I would do this? Well, police are saying that they've not yet determined a motive. That being said, the police chief in Cincinnati, Elliot Isaac, revealed these details. Take a listen. And I know it's been reported already that he did file a lawsuit uh, against NBC Universal and TD Ameritrade. It is possible that he may have been trying to work his way to the federal courthouse. Certainly can't get inside his mind and confirm that, but we could really find no other motive or any other connection. 
And if you're familiar with Fountain Square in the downtown area of Cincinnati, that federal courthouse just across the street from that Fifth Third Bank building. Well, again, we know it's early, but there's a hint of why potentially. Um, I mentioned it, right, it could have been so much worse. He was loaded for bear, right, as far as ammunition? He was. You notice that crossbody briefcase. He was wearing authority saying 250 rounds of ammunition inside that bag. If it were not for that 9 millimeter semi-automatic pistol jamming, and effective, mm -hmm. effectively jamming, you don't know how bad the toll could have been as you heard the police chief saying he was firing shots at anyone he sees you can see that looking at this surveillance video mike i am just still stunned that while police said they thought they could gain some clues from looking at the body cam footage from their officers and from surveillance video inside this building i am still stunned they showed it to us in this effect but what it proves, again, it goes back to the response time yeah. by those officers willing to engage with a gunman who opened fire uh, among many unassuming yeah. victims. Mm. The last thing, real quick, as far as victims, five shot in all, three killed, two still recovering. Any more, any more on the victims? Two still recovering, one in critical condition, one in fair condition. And what is astounding to hear is that one of those victims who survived, Whitney Austin, she was shot 12 times. Now, while she was lying on the ground awaiting an ambulance, a police officer actually dialed up her husband on his phone, let her speak to him in that moment. He says, as he learned of what had happened to his wife, who walked into the fire, mic as she was walking into that building on a conference call. He said he was hysterical. Now, the good news for this family, a family that includes two young children who were at school when their mom was attacked, uh, they say she was expected to have a full recovery, but one other victim still in critical condition mm -hmm. in a hospital in Cincinnati. Okay. I know you're still in the story force. Caleb, thanks again so much. Well, an off-duty Dallas police officer is facing criminal charges after she